But if I'm hopeful the way this week is gonna play out, you might have a melt up, but you might have a melt up in very, very aggressive uh, groups. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. And down the stretch we come. Good morning, everybody, and happy weekend. Hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, we can update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Just before we start, uh, we got four. We got four days uh, in this week. Friday, you're going to see pretty much a ghost town. Uh, Labor Day, obviously, uh, the last kind of hurrah for summer. Uh, for all you guys who are, uh, you know, been wondering about pivots and considering pivots, uh, there's a there's a really really cool offer um, somewhere somewhere in this video. Kyler will put it in. Um, it's like 47 bucks. You have access to the webinar for a month. You have access to the workshops and all that good stuff, kind of breaking down uh, what the PS60 theory is and why it's so cool and all that cool stuff. Um, so if you're interested, uh, this is definitely the week to uh, take advantage of it and see if it's right fit for you. So let's talk about the markets. Um, the, the biggest mark, the, the, the greatest testament to a market, how strong it is, it's the ability to fight uh, adversity, right? Adversity, resilience, all the stuff that makes uh, a human being, right? A strong character, strong will persons. Markets are exactly the same thing. And the market has been on a phenomenal run. I, I don't think anybody uh, could turn around and say anything different, whether your uh, trading is mirroring what's going on in the market is a whole different story. Again, it, it, it's a whole conversation from another time. You might be just trading stocks that have nothing to do with correlation of the market, but again, it's a whole conversation for another period of time. And you can see what's been going on with the tape uh, just over the last four and a half years that everything has been bought up. Uh, the global pandemic, again, kind of a biggie, still kind of in the middle of it, um, but that's been embraced in a weird way. And, and, and the craziest thing is if you have a conversation with another uh, stock trader or economist or anybody, Main Street investor, uh, at any point of during this pandemic, and, and, and it, it's marvelous that, to think out loud that um, despite this global pandemic, we're at all time highs. Okay, that's called resiliency. That's called uh, knowing how to fight through adversity. This is basically getting punched in the mouth for 11 rounds and coming back for the 12th and knocking out your opponent. And the market's been like this the whole way through. So even if you go back to uh, Wednesday night, right, we talked about, hey, be careful, you know, maybe you don't want to, uh, you know, buy anything overextended, just watch it, you know, watch it. And we had, and again, coincidentally, pure coincidence, I will never take <laughs> credit for, for a headline, but you saw that headline come in about the the, t the attack in uh, Afghanistan that unfortunately um, led to, I think 13 servicemen and women unfortunately got killed. And the market obviously did not like the news. The Dow sold off a little, a little bit less than 200 points. NASDAQ uh, got hit as well. But what happened was the next day they took those headlines that were obviously negative and market uh, sensitive and market rattling and they were gone. It's like there was nothing, uh, like it was nothing there and they completely engulfed the previous uh, day's candle and not only that, engulfed the whole high from this whole formation from this last week of trading. So it's super duper bullish, right? And it's very, very uh, hard to dispute and try to handicap the action going into this week. And, you know, this week will be a lot slower. Again, we only have uh, you know, we only have a very limited time left till Labor Day. Friday is, like I said, is going to be a ghost town. Uh, I'm going to be in the Hamptons from Friday to Monday. So you guys will probably get a recording uh, Monday night, right? You'll probably get a recording Monday night for the new week. Um, so a lot of people are going to be gone. A lot of people will be taking advantage of uh, kind of the short week, the longer uh, weekend, and kind of trying to fight and get that last a uh, bit of summer uh, in there. So don't be surprised going into this week if you have some days, a couple of days, that might be slower, that might be more lethargic and you're sitting there and you're like this at uh, 10, 15 in the morning trying to figure out, well, how come Tesla hasn't moved uh, in the moving in the first hour? How come you know Netflix hasn't, hasn't done anything? So it, it's very, very important to kind of take it into stride. I, I don't think you're going to have a meaningful 
uh, market resolution till people come back after the Labor Day weekend. But for now, it's super duper bullish. You really don't need to um, dissect the market. Now you just have to find the strongest groups. And, you know, again, a lot of times throughout the year, we have to play devil's advocate. We have to do this. We have to do that. What happens in this? What happens that? Look, we're not naive. We know a market pull could come at any time. Again, I've been trading 22 years. We've seen markets get pulled for, for like no reason just because it's Tuesday, right? So the market doesn't need a reason to pull. So we're always wary of the super extended stocks. But we're also kind of focusing, and again, if you've been watching this broadcast now for a while, I always focus on the stocks that are coming off the bottom, coming off the bottom of the ranges or the middle ranges. That's why moves uh, like a Peloton, right, this week was tremendous, right, before obviously this gap down. But, you know, you had a move going from 75, oh, I'm sorry, not Peloton, I'm sorry, wrong stock, um, P10, P, uh, uh, Pen, Pen, too early in the morning Sunday. I knew this looked crazy, right? Like a, a stock like Penn National Gaming coming off the bottom, again, is going to uh, get a really, really aggressive move. A stock like Amazon that, again, has been left for dead ever since earnings, but once it kind of started reclaiming the big levels that we always focus on, especially on videos, the five, 10 day moving average, it started the sequence of events and now for higher prices. And that's kind of what we want to focus, you know, names that are coming out of the bottom channels, the stocks that are overextended, we're leaving them alone, right? That's where gravity kicks in. This is where you lose control of the trade. We want to make sure that if I'm going to have a trade that doesn't work out, it's going to stall at the bottom of the range, not at the top where the violence is very, very unforgiving. So the key going into this week is, again, find the groups that have been very, very strong. Find the groups that have been resilient. And, and most important, find the groups now that even if you don't have the greatest amount of volatility or greatest amount of, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Greatest amount of resistance, right? This week, because the, the participants are on vacation, you want to make sure that those are the channels that have the, the, the highest probability of going because majority of people are probably not focusing on those groups. So if you go into this week, you really don't have to be very creative. And I say this all the time because you're trying to keep it as simplistic as possible. Look at the strongest group, right? Semiconductors ready to ready to bust out, and you can see it. You, know, you could see it in the charts. You know, Nvidia has been a monster. AMD woke up on Friday very aggressively. Well, again, we'll get to individual pivots in a second, right? That they've been super strong. Look at look at a name like LRCX, right? Super strong name. Look at a strong uh, name like Xilinx, right? Like Xilinx that I really like for this week, right? These are the stocks that are super duper strong. So again. Why start looking at random names that are putting in random moves if you have a whole tribe mentality of groups going in the same direction? Look at the financials, right? Look at the look and look at names like Citibank, right? Ready to come out of this bottom channel here. Look at Goldman Sachs, right? Look at Goldman, look at JP Morgan, look at a name like one of the names that I like this week is Schwab, right? Look at a name like Schwab. Look at this channel it's coming in. So you have really, really good value. And I think there's something here for everybody. So uh, a lot of times you'll have a market that is small cap, cap driven. And that'll be a very isolated incident for a short number of weeks. And then you have a market sometimes, hey, look at consumer cyclicals. They're very, very strong. You're like, consumer cyclicals, who the hell trades them? But there is a market for that. Then there's majority of the year, you do have a tremendous amount of average true range and technology names, right? But now you have everything, and that's the whole point. You have everything right now. Uh, can it change on a moment's notice? Of course, right? Can the market tank next week and say, damn, you're the worst? Yeah, of course, anything is possible, but we're conscious of that. We're not naive to that. We're not going uh, into any single trading day with eyes closed and hoping to God we're right. We're waiting for confirmation and letting these things play out technically, not emotionally. But this is one of the very few opportunities that everything is going. I mean, look at names, smaller cap names, like a BBIG, right? BBIG, just a, right? So you have your small cap market. You have, uh, you have names in technology that's breaking out, right? Like Netflix, this is, this is my trade from Friday, really great. So you have Netflix breaking out, you have Amazon come off the bottom, you have, you have semiconductors going nuts. So there's something there for everybody, no matter what your style of trading is, whether you're a day trader, swing trader, it's all lined up for us. The key now is to sit back, relax, uh, go through your research and trade the stocks that you feel comfortable. Not that somebody else is comfortable, not some guy, Joe Schmo.com trading is comfortable. What your, fits your comfortability, 
your your skill set, your your um, your uh, your bank level, right? Your risk tolerance, all that stuff that makes you an individual trader, not somebody else's comfortability, but yourself. Take the game plan, take the four or five names you want to concentrate on and omit everything else, put on the blinders and concentrate on those names. And the one thing that we are seeing is everything is getting pulled up. And if I'm right and hopeful, I think more hopeful than right, I don't care about being right, but if I'm hopeful the way this week is going to play out, you might have a melt up, but you might have a melt up in very, very aggressive uh, groups. And if that's the case, we should have a pretty damn uh, good, valuable uh, trading session to kind of end the summer, right? At least summer and the, the Labor Day weekend. And again, if you go through all the indexes, you'll see melt up in the queues, uh, spies, all time highs. You've got the diamonds being pulled up. Looks like the diamonds are going to be at all time highs. Uh, the one group, right? The one group that finally busted out, right, guys? You guys remember we were talking about this for, for a while, right? And this is why everything is being pulled up. This was the last group, the IWM. They finally closed above the 225 level. Remember the 50 day moving average? How important that 50 day is? First close uh, over the 50 day moving average. And if the uh, IWM that represents the smaller cap names, if they confirm this 127, uh, excuse me, 227 on a build, you're going to have the next leg up and everything, right? That's called speculation capital, speculation market, the hot money, right? Everything will get pulled up with it. So again, you don't need to be creative. You just have to focus on the names that you want to trade. Again, sometimes uh, you have to dissect the market via technical analysis, play devil's advocate. I don't think this is the week for it. Again, let's stay conscious. Let's stay hopeful. Let's stay patient, right? Let's stay patient and let everything play out like we think, right? It might not, but like we think and give us the highest probability to achieve our goal. So let's talk about Friday session again. Uh, super duper aggressive. That's the best way of saying it. Super duper aggressive. Everything broke out. Right? Well, I can't say everything, but everything, everything gave us a high probability for the next leg to break out. So let's talk about this. Uh, Netflix. This is, you know, this was a really good move. Uh, Netflix, uh, 553, 554 sneaky area. 558 macro needs to build. Here was Netflix. I still like it. I still like it a lot. Uh, any dip. Uh, any dip on Monday, you got to be a buyer in this thing. It's the rising 60 minute support. So it took out 53, this whole channel here, 53, took out this 57 and a half, 58. And now it is right here about to test January, February, March, April. The April 20 highs, uh, this whole 565 channel, if this thing confirms 565, you should have its next leg up. So great move, really, really great move on uh, Netflix. Amazon, okay, 333. 30, 334, 335 needs a strong build. Here comes Amazon right into the afternoon push, right? It took out this whole channel here, folks. That was the whole point. This whole channel here, it took out this 334, 335 level and traded into the 3350s. I think there's me one more, there's a couple of more areas that uh, Amazon should test if the market continues to be strong. Uh, this 3360s and this 3380s level, again, very, very strong uh, option activity uh, in that name. Uh, very, very strong move. Uh, mRNA, very disappointing. Um, I really thought they would uh, this week they were going to test that 414 level. They threw bad news at it. They sold it off, they took it back up, and they just never got back into this 414 level. All right, it is what it is. Um, uh, Zoom, after impressive uh, pivot to the upside, that was on Thursday, eventually got rejected. In case it goes red, watch that 336 build. Uh, it never got there, so we're still watching that 336 build. Uh, Square, 260, 260 below, it never got there. Uh, Roku 351 builds below. We never got there. For Friday's session, we had longs and shorts because we kind of didn't know how the market was going to react uh, after the whole headline in Afghanistan. So we just wanted to be uh, make sure we're protected on both sides of our game plan. Obviously, you saw the pivots to the upside. The ones to the downside obviously never confirmed. And things started getting pretty aggressive. Coin uh, got the two, 248 and never confirmed. Uh, eBay. eBay was very, very strong. Uh, here was the pivot on Thursday. 75 needs to build. Uh, to get to a macro channel and then Friday's uh, Friday's comment 76 now needs to build for the earnings highs and eBay closed right at the highs right at the highs the earnings highs 
uh, they should, uh, if any, any dip, again, any dip that confirms this 30, uh, 30, uh, 76 and a half, 77 level should start its next leg up on eBay. Uh, NVIDIA 225, NVIDIA has just been a monster. Now that semiconductor SMHs are stronger, it's going to continue. So 225 needs to build. Uh, well, you know, went to about 227 and change, but look at this move here. I mean, who could really uh, be disappointed with NVIDIA? Just an absolute monster. Uh, AMD, we talked about that 110 level throughout the week. 110 rejected twice on the daily. Uh, needs to build. Here was AMD, right? It took out the 110 that got rejected several times. And now, everybody see this? Now we got this whole macro channel. Remember, macro channel doesn't have to be 52 week highs. Macro channel just needs to be a, a major channel that distribution take, uh, took control. And whoever takes control of that supply area will obviously win. And that's why you can see here, uh, AMD has been rejected through this channel several times. It also got rejected several times through this 110 level. So it finally took that out. And once it takes out this whole macro channel, there's a shot. This thing goes back to uh, all time high. So a really strong move on AMD, uh, take on the way up. Hut, again, again, you don't need to trade Amazon to trade pivots. Uh, Hut, for small cap lovers, remember we always talk about uh, how the options market, right, dictates uh, the underlying security. Uh, HUT, they were coming for, uh, for the September 10 calls on repeat, one after another, after another, after another. So you don't even have to be an options trader just to understand how important the options market is to the under, underlying security. So for small cap lovers, 720, 735 big spots, they're coming for the September 10 calls. Uh, here was HUT, right? Here was HUT. Uh, so it took out the 720, took out the 735, and basically traded to about a little less than eight bucks. And you see here after the close, it's ramping up a little bit. This thing looks higher. I mean, they were coming for the $10 calls, and especially in this speculation money, uh, you know, there's a shot it gets there. Who the hell knows, right? But again, 735 on deck. Uh, seven there's been a massive seller. Coffee break. There's been a massive seller in Tesla. If you guys notice, it's been getting rejected off the 715 level literally the whole week. There's been a massive seller there. They're trying to clean them up. Uh, once they clean up the sell it, and the, the, the craziest part about sellers is you don't know. You don't know how much stock they have. I, if, if I had a guess, and for all you guys who are watching the order flow with me throughout the week, the purse, well, I'm, I'm guessing it's a fund. They had to unwind two, three million shares of Tesla. It's been three, four days in the same channel, and they just can't get it. Eventually, they will clean them up. And once that does, Tesla's going to wake up. So let's keep an eye on Tesla again. Does it have to happen this week? Not necessarily, but Tesla looks really, really strong. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas uh, for Monday. Again, I like Schwab a lot. Um, again, if the financials are strong, look at this channel here. You have a distribution that's going back for about three weeks here. If the financials are strong, Schwab looks really, really good. Also in the financial space, look at American Express, right, guys? First close over the 50-day moving average. That's bullish, super bullish. If AXP confirms, again, it has room uh, all the way up to the 174 level. Uh, that looks really, really good. Um, AMD, again, I like AMD a lot. If this thing takes out this whole channel here, uh, this looks good. Uh, and a smaller name. Look at a smaller name for all you guys who trade smaller names. Um, look at this IS. EE, I have no idea anything about it. Uh, but if this thing starts taking out, you know, starts building a base, 1075, 11, man, you could get a, a next leg up again. If you, again, here's the pull point. You see this 50 day moving average where I was talking about the last couple of symbols like, uh, like the IWM, um, like AXP, right? When you get above the 50 day moving average, it starts a really, really big cycle. So moral of the story is any stocks, when you're doing your research this week that comes and reclaims the 50 day on the close should warrant your attention. But anyway, I see uh, looks great as well. There's a whole slew of technology names that I'm obviously watching, uh, especially on dips, Facebook, uh, Xilinx, Netflix, a ton, right? A ton. The key is take whatever you feel comfortable this weekend, whatever group you're focusing on and do your macro research on that group. Have a safe uh, Memorial Day weekend, guys. The video should be out next next Monday, right? The weekend video should be out next Monday and have a great trading week. Stay patient. Remember, you don't need to trade every day, but when you do trade, trade with value. You guys have a great day and I will see you guys on Monday. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to 